Hello. Huh? Hello? Hello. Hello? Hi, Eric. Are we here? Huh. Oh, oh hey, everybody. Live for podcast. Blind Hello. Wave podcast. Every Thursday, kind of, at 3 p.m. Most Thursdays. Sometimes. Ah. Often. Yes. I just noticed the gnomes behind me. I don't know when those, how long those have been there, but I just noticed. Quite a long time. <laughs> for for years. No. No, no, we had Halloween stuff, like, not too long ago. You're right. Mm. Yeah. What's behind me? Gnomes. Damn it, a porg! Also, and the a wheel. very interesting spinner board. <laughs> Why does it all say flamingo? <laughs> That's the only option. Why? <laughs> Flamingo. 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 All right. you know, yep. It was also yeah. the Banjo Kazooie plushie that Rick got me. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want. I don't know. I don't think I want to open it, but it's still heavy. Oh, <laughs> still gnomes. <sighs> All right. We have survived Halloween. We had a long stream. We did. But it was a fun stream. Very it fun. It was, and we Indeed. gave away a PlayStation Five and an Xbox Series X. Hot damn, we did. That was an it adventure took, that involved the spinning wheel as well. We I, yeah. Uh, it took a while. We I, tried as hard as we could. That we was finally an extensive did. Extensive. Attempt. There, there we were, were desperate to give them away, and fate would not abide. There were definitely tricks and treats among that trick or treat giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that was might have been one of my, as far as like the past week and stuff, things that I've had fun with. Um, I think uh, Dead by Daylight, both streams that I did with that, with you guys, and then also with viewers, was one of my favorite things. Yeah. Just playing that with people, and I've I've had fun playing that, especially in groups and stuff, where you can just talk about the chaos that occurred yeah. <laughs> sure. you know? yeah. so i enjoyed that a lot no, I, re I really enjoyed the uh in silence playthrough like, yeah i, I like that one that one was fun and it was it's like the game that has gotten the biggest reaction out of me as far as like horror games and especially stuff. when you don't know what to expect when you yeah. go into it that's the best thing i think is like being able to go into something with no idea of what's coming mm-hmm like, you don't know what the monsters look like or anything. You know like, how shocked I was when we played that first game of Ghostbusters and I spawned in and I was a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, too. Eric, where'd you go? I'm, we're worth a bot. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I definitely I... enjoyed playing Ghostbusters as well with you guys because yeah, that, that was fun, fun and we were able to make characters that looked kind of like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I was just surprised at how much stuff you could do and change and yep. alter with it. But, no. I, I enjoyed doing blind playthroughs and blind watch throughs of stuff just because when you don't know what to expect uh the forest was one where like i didn't know what to expect from that game mm -hmm. and my thoughts of it going into it were very different than how they ended i got very surprised playing that game yeah, yeah. so i have no context i'm assuming it takes place in a forest and yeah then something unexpected happens something like that i mean it's, so i it's guess just, i have some context it's a survival game yeah gotcha. you're trying to survive in this forest yeah so it's a lot of fun hmm. very good so it is the entire basis of our channel. You're correct. That's true. Blind huh. wave. So and you know. Uh, how about you guys? Anything else over the week? It's been I, busy. It's been very busy. Um, been busy. I dig. Yeah. You know, something rare for me is I got to play new Legend of Zelda content last night yeah. with the uh, the Breath of the Wild DLC. Got to go in blind. Um, I've not really covered a ton of ground. I'm going to be doing it again on Saturday at 2 p.m. But. Gotcha. The thing that I did see, I was like, "Holy shit! How did I never see this? This is amazing!" <laughs> so it's like some of the it was like the uh, uh, there was a cutscene I saw that's like the best cutscene in the game. So anyway, I cool. enjoyed that, and that's very rare for me is new Zelda stuff. Yeah, that DLC was uh, I, I played a while back and it was yeah. pretty cool. I liked it. You were like going around the world, right, doing all the stuff, and then you, yeah, yeah. I won't talk more, but we'll talk about it later after yep. you're done with it. Yep. Sure. <laughs> so. I've been enjoying, uh, been uh, running some boxing classes here, mm -hmm. and that's been a lot of fun, some in-person boxing classes. Uh, it's been a long time since I've, well, gotten to teach in general, but especially getting to teach something fitness, been since karate, which feels like a lifetime ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. So that's been very fun and rewarding, uh, just seeing people improve. Yeah, sure. Over time, uh, having another one of those today. It's been great. It's been fun. Can't wait to do more. Can't wait to eventually do it online for other people who 
I won't be able to see him improve as much. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe have them send videos in. I yeah. Don't know. I got some ideas. You can react yeah. to them. People like to share. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Put I them think, in a tier so. list. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a fun aspect to seeing like someone who's like struggled over something like that and then it finally clicking and like you can see the growth and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and like just trying to highlight strengths and weaknesses. Because not everyone is the same, so sometimes fighting is a little different and stuff. Or working on what their weakness is so that it's no longer their weakness. Yeah. And yeah, it uh, wasn't this week. It's been a while, but I was diagnosed with uh, autism spectrum disorder a couple months back now, I think. And just continuing to find ways to adapt and just make my life more pleasant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been really nice. Uh, like wearing these earplugs, especially. Like the difference between just being around the office and being in reactions with them and without them is night and day. It's so noticeable. I feel yeah. so much better. Yeah. Like you can just tell <laughs> that you're just feeling so much better. <laughs> and there was a, there was a couple of times like when, whenever, you know, you had told us about you having the men and stuff and I would be at the table and I, I'm just loud and boisterous. I just remember like turning and like screaming at your face and you'd be like, <laughs> and I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 but they seem to work really well. Yeah, I've been trying out a bunch of different ones. Yeah. Uh, they all have like sort of their pluses and minuses, but no, it's been nice. I'm looking into like some different light filtering glasses. Okay. Uh, stuff too. Because uh, yeah. I, I wear sunglasses outside, but those are tough to wear inside. Yeah. So just trying to find specialized ones and stuff. And... Light yeah. filtering, huh? Yeah, it's been good. I made a Twitter post about it, it went into some stuff in more detail. And mm -hmm. yeah, that thread was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Like, there's more stuff I want to talk to. I want to talk to people who also have gone through the things. Yeah. Because uh, I've talked to, recently, I've talked to people about, like, anxiety, and it's just nice to have that camaraderie and, like, the lack of... The relation? Uh, isolation. Isolation. Right? Like, it. Yeah. especially with anxiety, but autism a little bit, too. Like, you just feel, you feel different and isolated. Sure. And being around people can be bad for both of those things sometimes. Mm -hmm. So being around people who understand those things and like know how to make it more comfortable is nice. So. Yeah, I mean, I can relate only in the the idea of feeling an isolation, but then finding like a community of people that all feel the same thing. Like single sided deafness is a very kind of like pushed aside thing. It's like, well, it's not really that big of a deal, and it isn't, but there are a couple things that happen that I'm like, oh, the, I kind of only, only I go through this. But just seeing people out there like, oh, no. And they would like tell you about something that you don't even realize about yourself. And you're sure. like, whoa, that's so, it, it's it, what, a, what an interesting invigorating thing is to, to feel like, oh, no, I'm not alone in this thing that has made me feel isolated. Yeah. It's only yeah. you and like your initial circle, but sure. there's yeah. other people who have dealt with this that you just don't know. So being yeah. able to find that. Yeah, that something that you can relate to where mm -hmm. it's like, man, I didn't even think about it that way. And just a better understanding or maybe a different understanding, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just understanding. Like, since I've had these in, I haven't had to use my stress balls. Oh, you're right. I haven't noticed you using them. Huh. Yeah. yeah, like I haven't used them or broken them in forever. Like, mm -hmm. just thinking certain things were anxiety. Just like, I don't know why I feel so nervous, like being sitting here and doing it, but I got I to gotta do this. Uh, but then, yeah, it's just you guys were loud, <laughs> very loud. Yes, I blame and, and, and that Galvin. was the answer. So I am often quite loud, <laughs> <laughs> um, not necessarily under my control. Sometimes, sure, it just happens. Yeah, no, I get you. No, and, and it, it's good to be able to like find ways to adapt myself and not have to make other people be different. Sure, I get you. If that yeah. makes sense. So. Sure, but there's that line where it's like, is it like we have to make you change or something like that? Like, I'm glad it does not like, you don't feel like we're trying to make you change. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're just looking at different things, but it's also like, well, we could all kind of help a little bit. So yeah. No, and you guys have been very understanding, definitely. So. Yeah, it's just nice to sort of have that piece of the puzzle. Yeah. And uh, it's like an understanding kind of thing, right? Like, this makes more sense now because X? Yeah. Like, it was definitely a mix of emotions of, like, some frustration of, like, man, if I had known this earlier, like, been diagnosed as a kid, like, I could have 
maybe had a very different life that would have been a lot less painful in a lot of aspects. Sure, yeah. Um, but at the same time, because of that, I learned a lot of coping techniques mm -hmm. that I now know and have like helped me, but I hope to be able to help other people as well. Sure, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the most familiar with uh, with that subject when it comes to people, but I, I don't know. I guess I kind of feel like it's something that has less of a stigma and, and less uh, judgment these days as, you know, the, the you know, unfortunately the kids that Definitely I knew, less. you know, that had that type of thing, uh, they didn't have, you know, always the, the best time with it. And they were out or not, I shouldn't say out, but they, you know, people knew about it and kids were not kind and stuff like that. And I feel like that's kind of changed at least, majority of society has gotten better about accepting that type of thing and being like hey there's nothing there's nothing wrong here it's just some people have different experiences yeah right or at least more of society yeah more of it, society it certainly be, not yeah. all it might not even be like all yeah. or majority but it's just yeah. more of it has become a little bit more understanding sure um yeah and i think and, it's yeah. kind of true across the board with a lot of stuff right i, I agree yeah so and sometimes i feel like that's been communication and then just different generations being like you know what mm -hmm. this is stupid to do Sure. Let's not do that. Yeah. And then it's just changing kind of some ways. I actually mm -hmm. had a conversation with Leon because he has uh, play practice. So, like, we'll talk in our, like, on the way there and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And uh, just one of the conversations kind of fell into, like, lots of times people are taught or not taught something. Yeah. And they just don't realize. So, a lot of that just kind of gets fixed over the course with communication, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like, one of the examples was kind of talking about racism where, like, people aren't usually born – hating people for stuff, you know? Sure. It's like having the conversations and, you know, and and getting through that kind of stuff and understanding people being different in whatever ways it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Not just like, well, my parents said this stuff, so that must be the way it is. It's like, well, those sure. parents either didn't understand or they're just maybe not great people, <laughs> you know, sure. depending on the situation. So, yeah, a lot of it kind of comes down to either communication or just understanding in general. Yeah, like I've been reading more about autism and, like – and some of the ways it presents in kids, like they're seen as disciplinary problems mm -hmm. or like, you know, they are are violent and they're reacting that way because, you know, of the environment or the situation. And like the teacher, whoever just like doesn't understand what's going on and they just see the misbehaving. They see the acting outside of things. Yeah. But not understanding what it is. Exactly. So just like, yeah, being... Being open and just trying to to learn. Well, and over the years, it's been there's been more information on it too, where it becomes like a. It started off with like I don't know what this is, and especially with uh, with what you were diagnosed with, Rick. Like, I feel like a lot of that it used to just be classified as X. Sure. And now it's like, well, actually, there's a lot there's a lot more spread across the board yeah. of like. The, uh, a spectrum, a spectrum, or you know, like it's not just one classification anymore. There's lots yeah. of ways that this can operate and work, and, and it's just probably, more understanding as a whole for it. You know, it's probably not done being reclassified either. Sure, no, sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're still finding out things. So, but yeah, I um, hope the information helps, and yeah, we're always. I feel like we're always willing to like work with everybody to make sure things are best for everyone that we can you know mm -hmm. yeah so and like when it comes to the earplugs especially like they uh, uh these ones are a little more clear and like maggie was like oh you know do you want clear ones but i kind of in a way want them to stand out because i just want them to be more normalized yeah rather than stigmatized or misunderstood sure yeah. i get you like i don't want people to feel self-conscious for needing to adapt mm-hmm yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, good, Rick. Well, thank you for sharing that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it's definitely something new, and take some understanding and whatnot to share and talk about, and and then uh, I know you'll always look at like wanting to learn new things and then try to share that with other people who maybe either don't realize what they're going through or what kind of things could be different and stuff too. So look forward to that. Yeah, and um, like people were amazingly kind in responses to my Twitter post as well. So oh yeah, so thank you everyone who reached out. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I 
don't think I've received a single negative thing on that. So that's unheard of in Twitter. That is true. <laughs> I know, right? Really, sure. the internet in general. <laughs> yeah. My my tweet that I had out recently just got s- attacked by bots, it felt like. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I had, I had some people that were asking me, like, I mean, it's been over the last few weeks and stuff, but it was like, where's your Instagram account? What happened to your Facebook? What happened to your Instagram? And I was like, well, let me just tweet about it. And that it had been hacked, and I've been trying to, like, get a hold of Facebook or Instagram. I've been going through sites trying to go through this whole thing of, like, it had been hacked. They did something or posted something, supposedly, and it had been, like, disabled. And I'm like, how do I get this back? And everything I try keeps failing. And I'm like, I'm at the point where I'm like, I guess I just need to call. But I haven't had a chance where I feel like I have enough time to be able to call because I yeah. guarantee I'm going to have to wait. Sure. I don't yeah, know how yeah. long, but I guarantee I will. So They just need a blind wave to tweet at them. Maybe. I don't Maybe. know. Or I something. tweeted it, and uh, some people were like, oh, okay, I understand. Or they're like, sorry, that happened. But then the rest of them were just like, I used these guys, and they saved my account. And it was just a ton of those kind of just things bots. with like yeah. all kinds yeah. of different like versions. I'm like, oh, my gosh. All well, right. yeah, that's, that's part of scams, too. Of like creating a problem and then offering the solution, yeah. Where you get in more trouble, sure. Where you give out more personal information, you know? yeah. And I don't know what caused it initially. I'm like, I usually am pretty careful about like not just like clicking shit, you know, and opening. It's got to be up. just keywords of you putting there, like you know, hacked, banned type oh, of thing. I meant for the account itself being hacked. Oh, in okay. You mean the actual thing? Yeah, yeah but, sure. But like yeah, initial... I figured it was something like that or yeah, whatever that people found, and then, but no, I had t- a ton of those like yeah. retweet like tweeted to me, and I'm like. I don't think these people are real. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but yeah. yeah, Twitter is now owned by a new person. It is. Yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I do wonder about the future of Twitter and what is going to happen over there because it it's it seems like it's filled such an important role in our society now. Like presidents are using it. Presidents use it. Every news article that you see has to have like six tweets you know like yeah like we're old enough that we've seen social media platforms come and go yeah totally sure. uh, like we yeah, saw it's... like the creation of them and you, you yeah. know for the most part you know yeah, yeah sure. yeah and it's like you know myspace was on top of the world like it was man. everyone knew it uh yeah but... it was just uh, ubiquitous yeah then... custom songs when you on your landing page yeah, and then see my gone. top see, see my top 10 friends like i remember digging things dig yeah i remember dig and that just disappeared yeah. like and Jeeves, ask Jeeves, yeah, <laughs> that was a social media. Ask. But... Com. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm pretty sure, like I'm pretty certain, stuff like YouTube, anything owned by Google, because Google owns half the internet, like that's gonna stick around. But I don't know about Twitter. It's, sure, Twitter is honestly, it's my favorite social media platform, uh, past YouTube, if you call YouTube one as well. Sure. But because I just, you know, Instagram, all the other ones, I kind of just don't really click. You know, I, I, but I'll click on Twitter. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You know, the the cool thing about Twitter was the verification check and that, like, I know that's Mark Hamill because he's proved it, right? Sure. And he has this uh, this mark. And I hope, and I'd assume it would be kind of crazy not to, like, this new idea of $8 a month or whatever it is to get that verified check. Like, I assume you'd still have to go through the same process of verifying who you are. I would hope so. Right? You can't just, you know, I, I, think, I think a lot of articles have kind of run away with that idea. It's like, oh no, everybody's gonna be paying eight bucks and you can you could be sure. Mark Hamill seven and you know As long as you have eight bucks you can be yeah. Mark Hamill as many times as you want. Sure. But uh I, I don't know. I also get the idea of like it's weird to now make people pay for something that was free but the the dude had like forty four million billion dollars <laughs> you know that he had to pay. So he's gotta make something back. I, yeah. Okay. I mean you You're know, the owner, you do what you want. I think there's a few ways you could monetize it like you can get rid of ads maybe yeah well um, ads well. is so much of its revenue too though and they're losing advertisers well, yeah right now. that's not so much of a choice as it is yeah. just a consequence true i mean I, I i know twitter didn't make it hasn't made a profit in like what two or three years now so oh, i mean yeah. we'll yeah, I mean, neither like, is amazon but it's yeah, still around like sure <laughs> like profits yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I like get Jeff you. Jeff Bezos is still well off. You know, <laughs> there's stuff like uh, YouTube. YouTube doesn't make a profit, but it's it's ingrained so much, and Google obviously makes profit, that they're like, well, we'll take the loss so that we can be the premier video service, yeah. right? Twitter doesn't have that. It is not the premier social media platform. Like, it's one of the big three or four. Sure. So. Remember Zanga? 
I remember saying it. Oh, I had yeah. a Sanga page. Sanga that, journal? I Definitely. had a couple. I had a secret one that I only put my poems on. Yeah, oh, I'm sure they were shit, terrible. dude. We need to get that and do that, that for a podcast. Zanga. I don't think we do. I need to. <laughs> no, let do. us dramatically read your Twitter. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they we need to have, like, probably yeah. a stupid little high school Aaron. Yeah. We need to have, How like, awesome would that be? voice actors read them for us. No, Calvin, we can do it. That would no, that would be amazing, right? <laughs> no, like that would be pretty Christopher good. Christopher Walken, Christopher Walken, <laughs> or like yeah. I mean, we've done voice acting and have been paid by Blind Wave, so technically, I think we're professionals. I mean, I, I guess, so. but I, I mean, like Just old Aaron. <laughs> I mean, like people we know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we need we need to keep these things from when we were in high school, yep. and then read them when we're like sixty. Man, I st- I still mm-hmm. have all the stuff I wrote in high school, junior high. Do you, do you look at them back as like these are really good or like oh. what the hell was I doing? There's like point zero 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 one percent that's like this is pretty good, and then trash. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you know there is that thing of like stuff that you put creativity and thought into there's like a certain amount of years that you hate what you've done sure you know it's like no no no. what i do now is great <laughs> but what i did three or four years ago like you go back and you watch a early like first year blind wave video and you're like oh jesus you know yeah, yeah. like look at me look at my haircut Ten Ten years look at the weight you know be, you'll be doing the same thing to I, what you are now exactly that's the thing like i don't think about what i'm gonna be looking forward or looking back on in three years that can really screw with your head, <laughs> especially when you're on camera for eight hours a day. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I'm also really good at just not thinking about that. Just turn it off. Maybe um, Tumblr will come back in a strong way and release Twitter, because I saw an article saying uh. that uh, they're allowing nudity on it again. Really? Okay, Tumblr was the big, it ended up being like 99% porn, right? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Mean, it, yeah, it was it was quite a lot of like uh, fanfic and porn and and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And Rule thirty four stuff. Yeah, and they, yeah, they killed themselves. They shot themselves in the foot by by uh, removing yeah. that content. Yeah, we'll all be on Tumblr again. I mean, I've heard like. People talking about Vine coming back, especially sure. if TikTok keeps going the way it's going, because there's some pretty serious legislation that might affect TikTok when it comes to like, uh, yeah, I think China's taking our data, you know? Well, we always knew that. Yeah, I know, but no one seems to care. But some people are starting to, and I saw an article like Vine's coming back, and I'm like, what? No Vine? way! Yeah, Vine's Vine. coming back. Uh, the craziest one for me, I think, is Skype. Skype, because like Skype was ubiquitous, and then you're right. Zoom happened, yeah. But like Skype never went away. No, it didn't. But it 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 certainly came back to the forefront during COVID for a lot of people. Because like, well, people, yeah. You, I mean, that's when like Zoom really took over. Oh yeah, definitely. But like, but I, I will admit, like you know, because I did Skype for a couple uh, Schmodown related things, and like I was like, man, the. From when it you what it used to be to what it was now, like it was a huge shock in terms of its features. But when I you don't, I never hear people talk about hey Skype me. It's always Zoom me if, yep. if you're doing mm-hmm. that now. Yeah, it's like Kleenex. I mean Microsoft bought it. That might not have helped things. Maybe but not. Yeah. Yeah. I'll always remember that call ring though for a Skype call. Yep. <laughs> oh man, back when I worked on video games. <laughs> Boop, boop, had people, boop, doo, doo, doo. had people all over the world, and yeah, I would sleep with my computer next to it for whenever the artist would call me at three a.m. Yeah, and it would just be my alarm. Yep, I will never forget that sound. <laughs> I do like to think about like, you know, sounds that were so ingrained in your everyday life that you don't hear anymore, and not just you know like voices and stuff like that from people that aren't here anymore, but like dial up. Yeah, yeah. every day. Ten times a day, I heard that dial-up thing, and I don't hear it ever. You know, a while back, I forget how we got into it, but like after reaction, we just got to looking at some old commercials. Yeah, and it's just like, man, like I watched this commercial probably every day for six months. The to Nickelodeon a year. commercial we were talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. To blow your mind, or to grow your mind, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, just yeah, like for growing mind. Like we were, what, what commercial was that for? Do you remember? What 
pops in. What pops out? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nickelodeon things. Magazine, please. Yeah. Yeah. Nickelodeon yeah. Magazine. Th- there please. was that one. We were looking at some of the Super Soaker ones. Super Soaker ones, yeah. And yeah, yeah. just like talk about a time machine. Yeah, because we started that commercial, and uh, Calvin, I know that you, you not so much because you didn't really have television then. No. But yeah. like that commercial was a 90 second commercial, and <laughs> I hadn't heard it for 30 years. and the entire thing we were able to do. Yeah, yeah, it just took me back to that time. Like, that's in your head. Forever. Forever. <laughs> and that's, that's what they want. Yeah, I guess you, so. That's why you got to be careful when it comes to advertising to kids. Yeah, you're right. I suppose so. Crossfire, man. Yeah. Fucking crossfire. Yeah. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. I, I haven't even seen that commercial, and I know that. Right? Yeah. Because I sing it here yeah, all the time. You do. So accurate. You'll get so caught insidious. Up in the crossfire. <laughs> Thirty-year-olds. Uh, I was clicking around trying to find if I could find Zanga still. Yeah. You're trying to find oh, your yeah. Zanga. Do you remember yeah. your oh, old man. username? I don't. I don't remember my mind. username or password would have been. Yeah. And I had like three accounts. Like I said, I had one that was like, "Here's my public one." Yeah. And I know I had one that was like, "No one knows about this one," and it didn't say Aaron or anything. It was different stuff, you know. Just like a pen name or something. It was. <laughs> What? Was there an option for not? <laughs> Two people said no, don't get Zenga back. <laughs> so really, 95% of people said yes. The one poem that I remember, I remember the title. It was because of it was a girl that I had a crush on back like at before high school, I think. Um, and the, the, the title had her initials involved in it. And it was signed instead of it at the end, instead of it being me. It was called After Love Ends because it had my initials in it. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Solid. Oh, gotta that's, find so, that. that's so teenager <laughs> right? being clever Isn't shit. It? Oh my gosh. I don't even remember what was in the poems or anything. I just uh, remember that being one of my poems. I've got one that I wrote in fourth or fifth grade that I have memorized. Um, it, it's about chess. And it goes... Chess, chess, oh boy, what a mess. First the queen tore her dress, oh boy, what a mess. The rook took the bishop's book, and the knight helped the bishop look. Frantic was the king when he got a bee sting. All the pawn could do was laugh and sing. My friends, I advise you never to play chess, oh boy, what a mess. I remember that. Yeah, because I wanted to learn the names of the pieces. Yeah, sure. (laughs) Nice. Yeah, that one is just always, always in my mind. Oh, and live journal, too. I remember that, live journal. Live journal? I don't think yeah. I had live journal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, the the internet obviously was around when I was very, very, very young, but it wasn't really much in use, especially by at least people in our area. Uh, I know it was primarily at colleges and stuff like that that were using it in the early days, but yeah, I remember like the first time I got into a chat room, you know, I remember Yahoo. Doc, it was Yahoo chat room. Remember Yahoo.com? Yeah, you remember Yahoo Answers? Yeah, like, the last time is Yahoo Yahoo's still around? Sure, yeah, it is. right? Yeah, Yahoo, and, and, yeah. I've I haven't gone to Yahoo.com. I have an email for it. In so long, there were like Yahoo Answer groups as well that like I was a part of that are now dead. Yeah, it's like I, I have remember, no way to get in touch with some of those people. I remember Yahoo and Google were like the top two like searching things, and now it just turned to Google it. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like honestly, if you go to yahoo.com, it looks like it looks like those news sites that when you scroll too far, you just start getting a bunch of yeah, weird just, just articles and weird stuff. clickbait vomit. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's <laughs> just what Yahoo looks like now, <laughs> as a whole. That's all they have left. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Before that, like there weren't URLs. There was go on AOL and use keyword X. Yep. To go. To- I remember that keyword Star Wars, baby. Yeah. Keyword Nick. <laughs> These like gated communities like kids of the won't, internet. Kids won't understand what URLs are. The internet used to be like Jurassic Park, where like they tried to contain it. Yeah. Internet finds a way. I remember going on the force.net. I think it's what yeah, force.net, and I go to the forums, and one guy figured out how to use the first version of Adobe After Effects, which if you go back and you look at that, that's tough. It's like <laughs> it's like Minecraft. <laughs> and figuring out how to do a lightsaber and being like, oh, that would be cool. I'm going to try that. And if it weren't for that tutorial, there would be no blind wave. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
was a guy named Ryan Weber that did it. Huh. Yeah, when I was first learning, like, programming how to make video games, I had, like, I downloaded it at school, mm -hmm. brought it home, so I had the manual, and that was it. <laughs> the manual. Turn down. Yeah, I, I had the manual for Game Maker, and that's all I had to go on unless I was at school and could look up things. Yeah. Huh. I was trying cool. to see, ironically, when I went to Yahoo.com, I found a news article, and I wanted to see if it was true, but in my mind, I missed it. But apparently, there was something trending recently on Twitter um, that came from a comedian. Okay. Uh, Tim Heidecker. Okay. Uh, it says, known for his stand-up and TV work with fellow comedian Eric Wareheim on Tuesday. So it was on Tuesday. Started a hashtag, ha hashtag... Trump is dead on Twitter. Oh, Jesus. Owned by M Musk. I didn't see this. Did you guys see this? It? No. Yeah. Um, uh, owned by Musk since Thursday. In a short series of tweets regarding former President Donald Trump, he wrote, Trump is dead, died badly. In like, ha in like parentheses. And tagged Musk saying that <laughs> Elon Musk has suppressed this news. Or has he? Many oh are sad gosh. by the news. I heard he died in a sad and sick way, not as a dog, but as the reporting... Uh, change soon. Uh, the comedian's verified on Twitter with a blue check mark by his name. <laughs> he, he's testing Elon Musk's. Uh, his whole method was trying to test uh, Musk's like, handling of moderation on the platform. Sure. Yeah, under the situation and stuff. Within an hour, it had twenty thousand likes, um, thousands of retweets, and the the hashtag was trending on Twitter. And Musk has yet to respond to it as of this. But I was just like, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> he got it trending, and wow. there was there was no moderation for it. I just, I couldn't, I don't know. It's just people are testing Musk now to see oh, yeah. what happens yeah, with As it. soon as the you know the company changed hands, there was that report about 500% use uh, increase of the N-word. Yeah. And nothing had changed. Nothing, none of the moderators yeah, no, tools no had changed. It's just people were like, all right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can get away with. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that says here too. The use of slurs and hate speech grew exponentially in the days following the takeover. The platform has also limited the number of employees allowed to remove such content mm -hmm. since he took over. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard about a lot of layoffs that are going to be happening or yeah. are happening he right now, too. fired a bunch of people. Like 25 to 75% of the workforce. That's crazy. Which is going to, like, is the estimate. I don't know if 75 will be there, but I don't know. Right. Well, just... <laughs> there's some social media talk that we have. I'll just see if yeah. I can find my Zanga at some point. I don't know. I might not ever get it. I think I've tried at one point back in the past and I never found it. Is it a public thing to where you can like, you I, can read the articles and stuff? I can't or the even posts and stuff? just find posts now. Like there's Zenga 2.0. I don't know what this is. <laughs> like I don't even know if I can just make an like a, can you? I don't think you can just make an account and make one. Hmm. Check out your blog. If you are a premium or participated in our Zenga 2.0 campaign, your blog should be in the same location. But this would have been a long, long time ago. How do you spell it? X-A-N-G-A. -A. You know, if I ever, like, quit Blind Wave and want to become, like, a politician or someone respectable, like, any time I Google my name and the pictures that show up, <laughs> I, just, I don't know if it can happen. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can have any respectable job or yeah. public... Office. I had an aunt reach out to me saying like uh, she had some type of challenge put gave to her on Facebook and it's like type in your last name and post the first gift that appears and she sent it to me and it's like look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you showing us that. <laughs> Do you remember what your uh, username was, Aaron? No, I don't. Oh, okay. That's gonna be the biggest problem. Yeah, so I can search that shit on the internet archive, but there is uh, some scheduled stuff on. Uh, Twitch so far for what games and stuff are coming over the next few weeks or so. Yep. Um, Eric already mentioned how he's doing Breath of the Wild. We're, he's going to be continuing that on Saturday. Um, tomorrow, Eric and I are going to be checking out Gotham Knights. Yes, the sir. The Batman game came out in the middle of last month. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten a chance to play that at all yet, so that'll be fun. Um, I started Modern Warfare 2 on Monday, which I really enjoyed, um, and I'm excited to see how more of the story plays out. Sadly, it was crashing on me. So hopefully it doesn't have those issues on Monday. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll be that. Uh, Rick, speaking of chess poems, yeah, gonna be playing chess on Tuesday. I am. Yeah, that should be fun. I'm gonna 
like play against the AI and kind of talk out my moves, just use it as an excuse to chat with chat. Uh, maybe talk about autism stuff a little bit, but at some point in the stream, I want to play viewers in uh, three minute games. So three minute games. Yeah. Is that where like each of you have three minutes to yeah. play? Okay. Yep. So um, <clears throat> if you don't have a account on chess.com, it's free. And that's what I'll be playing on. Free. And losing terribly, I'm sure, because I'm not. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm especially not good in three minutes. You know the names of the pieces, though. I do, because of my poem. Ah. Um. Then after that is going to be next Wednesday, in which case Eric has a stream next Wednesday, right, Eric? Boom. 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 Yep. Got that, a war. Ragnarok. Okay. That's yes. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that Launch means. day. Launch day for God of War Ragnarok. Yep. So Eric will be playing that. Um, he'll Ooh. also be picking Ooh. it up again on Saturday the 12th. So two days next week for that. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. I've, <laughs> I, I keep seeing, you know, because God of War was something that I wasn't like, you know, I have like very strict spoiler uh, things for my settings on various social medias and stuff, but God of War never really was one, except whenever I was actually playing it. Um, so I haven't watched any of the marketing or anything, other than the one trailer that we kind of saw. Uh, but boy, do I keep seeing it like try to get to me, yeah. you know? And I'm so excited and hyped, but I want to save it all for Wednesday. Good. It'll be so. my first God of War game that I will have ever played at launch. Well, good. I hope you enjoy it. Look forward to that. I'm looking forward to a launch on the 18th. Yes, sir. Of this Me month, too. Which is Pokemon Scarlet Violet come out. Yep. Um, and I think right now we have it scheduled where like almost the whole day is cleared with me being able to play Pokemon, which I think, Eric, you might be joining a little bit with that I too. think I'm going to have to be there too. I might not be on, you know, have my screen on stream, but I'm, I want to be there. Gotcha. Enjoy the new Pokemon game. I've been <laughs> on a bit of a Pokemon kick. <laughs> Just like looking at, you know, uh, creator videos and stuff yeah but i think that's because i was on a breath of the wild kick and just trying to distract myself from the god of war kick i will soon be on gotcha <laughs> so yeah so you're gonna be a big pokemon stream on the 18th and then i'll be playing that um on the monday and tuesday following so mm -hmm. um so that's kind of the announcements we have right now for different group streams and things that are going on for Twitch. And I'm trying to make sure that stays updated on Twitch itself. So if you go to our Twitch and look at the schedule, everything should be accurate for what's coming as we've figured it out and gotten things placed and whatnot. So yep. I have almost the whole month set up there. Um, and we may also put like an announcement to remind people mm -hmm. on like socials and stuff at some point too. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we also we have another announcement, and this oh. is not for uh, gaming. This is for... A reaction series that's going to be launching I was, on Monday. On Monday, yeah. I was thinking about this too, but instead of us announcing it, I didn't. Does someone want to go get that one? Go get that one oh. guy. There's a one guy that can announce it for us. Okay, instead. yeah, we can do that. Is yeah, that a bring, good idea? Bring him in here. Yeah. Rick is quick. So let's I would go grab not him real quick. have gone that quick. And he will announce it for us so you guys will know what's coming on yeah. Monday. Eric, uh, do you want to stand up and uh, block the view so that they can walk in? I can. Oh, hide this it is, with the camera. This is what I was yeah. born for. <laughs> You're a linebacker. <laughs> um, for what? What is it? The November schedule. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that after. We can show that after. Ah, <clears throat> but yeah, this will be coming out on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so look forward to that. And uh, Monday the seventh. And then there will, of course, be some. Uh, I'm blocking it. I'm blocking it. Information, I'm blocking it. or uh, there will be early access okay, on Patreon as well. Huh? Backwards. Okay. Well, all right. Are, are you ready to show? Tell tell the people what's coming. Show the people. Yes. The Duke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bridgerton Season 2. Starting Monday, and we are so hyped. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a lot of fun. <laughs> so, it has indeed that will be uh popping up on youtube monday with early access and full length all over on patreon as well and i know some of you might be like well that's not really my thing it might be your thing if you watch it with us i'm just saying <laughs> just give it a try because we have so much fun with that show we do it's it's so yeah. different from from other shows that we do 
It's like <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air. It, it, it really it is. truly is. <laughs> no, it is not Titan season four. <laughs> <laughs> or but season yeah. three. Or season three, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, here are some things you'll be seeing coming out throughout mm-hmm. November. Some things will be ending in November. Some things will be uh maybe starting in November. So. Maybe, yeah. Like on uh Wednesday there is a little uh little appropriate. Willow. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen that movie. No, and we're going to uh, have to fix that. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Or just let him be really confused. You know, that might be fun. We'll have to see how long <sighs> Willow is and have him watch half of it without having seen the original and then half with. Uh, we, need to, we need to do our due diligence, but I'm super excited by that uh, just because I'm such a fan of uh, a lot of people that are on the cast there. Um I've mentioned before a person I've talked to uh, that works at Lucasfilm <laughs> Sound, David Collins. Like he, he went for the supervising role of this, like hard, hard. Like I need to. Willow is my favorite thing, and he almost got it, but he ended up losing out to the guy that does Lord of the Rings, the oh. trilogy. And he's like, "All right, I want to work for if him." There was going to be somebody <laughs> who beat me from that position. I'm glad it's him. Yeah, exactly. Kind of right. <laughs> uh, and. It's not new, but if you're not watching our Chainsaw Man reactions, you're missing out. That last one, nah, I'm sold. <laughs> I can't sold. wait for more. Yeah. Uh, no, they have been fun. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect from that that show, really. And Still it's don't. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't know where Surprise we go from here. Every episode. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys saw. You guys might have seen it, but uh, there was a. Um, social post on, I think it was Twitter, might have been on Instagram, of Megan the Stallion, Megan the Stallion. Mm-hmm. Did you guys see, see that? Did uh, you say? Did you see it, Rick? Yeah. You saw him? Yeah. Um, Jake, do you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I have it right now. You have it up. Huh? Can, we, can we all look at it here? I know her from WAP. You do, but if if we change over your screen, probably you can probably. Man, is, she is that possible for you, Jake? I see Jake and Kyle. Where we can see it on the our screens, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, no. I just see us. I see your face. Your lovely, lovely face. He sees the yeah. us poster of you. <laughs> when you say, I just see us, he's yeah. confused. <laughs> Why? It's too bad stream didn't didn't get that because yeah. that was very funny. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she posted this, I think, on Halloween. I believe. On Halloween? I think okay. it was this Monday that she posted it. Yeah. So. Oh. Whoa. That's Mirko. fucking awesome. Wow. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I saw that. Look she also that. had other pictures she shared too. Um, but yeah, there was this one, and it's, I have it to was... admit, it's it's better than my anime cosplay. <laughs> it's yeah, pretty I'm good. Wow. <laughs> From our you know? stream, like I, I think, I think it's a really good cosplay for that. Oh yeah, that's impressive. Do you think her uh, contacts are red, or do you think that's photoshopped? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, photoshopped. Probably photoshopped. Probably be more comfortable to Photoshop them, but I don't know. The the level of detail and everything on the rest of the costume, why not? Yeah, super cool. Yeah, so I saw that and I was like, this is really cool. I like that a lot. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, apparently, she's a really big anime fan and has cosplayed a lot of anime characters. Oh, yeah? Uh, taking this opportunity to remind you all that one of uh, the author's assistant, it's small for me, uh, is a huge fan of Megan's and has been using her as a model for a lot of Marco's art. That's cool. Oh, so yeah? as like reference. <laughs> Look at That's these. cool. So she dressed up as the character and the dress, the character <laughs> it references her. her. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I see it. Cool. <laughs> that's great. So that's really cool. Huh. Oh yeah, these are the other images. Mm-hmm. These are the other Megan images. Yeah, there's some other Megan images with this. Of all things that they released, that Good hair. Images. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's so funny. I love the feet. <laughs> oh, that's great. So. Uh. But yeah, I just thought about that while we were talking about animes and stuff. And I was like, uh-huh. oh yeah, Megan the Stallion. You guys know who Megan is now. So, uh huh. Bonafide expert. Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. Yeah, Calvin, the hair. <laughs> it looked cool. 
Uh, can, so I, can I not compliment the hair? Do I have to focus on other things? Cool, thanks. So, you can focus on whatever, I guess. Whatever, you, whatever looks. It's not like I didn't see it. <laughs> the hair? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Lots of hair. No, other things. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Well, is there anything else from anybody, or should we move on to the one topic that I'd mentioned before? Let's move on. Sure. Good. All right. So there was a uh, a conversation I heard. Um, I don't know if it was on the radio, online, or what it was. And I, but I thought it would be an interesting conversation with us. But uh, I'm also interested to see what chat may think. And I don't know if they're gonna have to think about it a little bit, or if they just have the answer right there. But you know, you're the one guy that I hear that goes like, "I was listening to the radio." I listen to the radio. He has the longest the drive of okay. all of us. Now you're right. Fair. He does. It's, it's he a longer has. drive. My truck does not have. Yeah, you're Bluetooth. right. You've had that truck for 20 years. It doesn't have a cassette tape thing. They <laughs> remove that. All it has is a CD player, and that CD player skips and is not in as good a shape. Gotcha. So I listen to the radio. Yeah. And it, it just, I just listen to it. Hey, I'm right. Zanga. Listen to the radio. <laughs> I get it. My, my my truck is from 2004. I've had it since graduating high school in 2007. 2004. And I have never. I haven't changed it. I've had it hey. since then. My car wins, I think. Like, have you had it as long, Rick? I have not. It, ah. But it's like a '98. Yeah, you can get old cars and stuff. But. Dude, I can remember when my parents got a car that was built in the '90s, and we were like, "Oh my god, wow, it's so new!" Like, I remember getting into this car, being like, "This is from the '90s." And my brother being like, "Wow." Yeah. <laughs> oh, so after so, our rude interruption, Aaron. In another saying, year, you I'm can so put, sorry. Um, I apologize. Antique plates on it, Aaron. In another year, yeah. I want to. I want to. I'm hoping to get not get rid of it necessarily, but I want to trade it in and get something that can fit, because it can only fit three people. Right? Sure. I want three at least people to fit, is tight. <laughs> I want to at least be able to fit me and, and the four kids. Yeah. You know, it can fit three people, and none of those people are safe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I might not have it next year. I'm I'm kind of not wanting to have it this winter because like my my drive is not great. Like mm -hmm. trying to get back. And sure, forth but here, I also you know? don't want you not to have it. I don't you know. gotta give that to Leon. I remember the intro. And then he for can that. give it to his son. I thought about it, but it's just it's getting old. And it's yeah. I don't know. I get yeah. you. There's already the engine lights on, and I I'm pretty sure it was the catalytic converter or something like that. I think yeah. that's what they told me it was. And they were like, <laughs> we could fix it, but it costs a lot. Gotcha. But it shouldn't cause you any problems if you leave it alone, as long as it doesn't clog up. And I'm like, how do I know if it clogs up? He's like, hey, you'll know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I say give it to your dad for firewood, but there's no way that thing's going out into the woods yep. and getting firewood. No, no, it doesn't even have four-wheel drive or anything. <laughs> Not unless you put, like, tracks on it. Uh, so the, the Bluetooth FM devices just don't work very well. Yeah. I, I've tried those before. Mm -hmm. I used to try a cassette tape in my old Jimmy for Bluetooth, but then when I upgraded upgraded to this, they like, they you know what we want in this out. radio? We're going to take out the tape deck because no one uses that anymore. And in place of it, we're going to put nothing. So it's just they took stuff out, gave me nothing new. No, There's even like a, a blanking plate on the, the head is, unit. This is where it could have been. This is where it could have been. We're not giving that to you anymore. So. Look at that tape on a wire that connected to a CD player. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was magic. How the hell did that work? That cassette tape that yeah. would yeah it plugged into the headphone jack and then went into the and yeah, then it goes right? into the CD player that as long as you keep it steady it won't skip yeah yeah a Walkman or something yep. yeah, now my CD player skips on yeah. well it could have been the CD I don't have a ton of CDs all my CDs I have are from high school gotcha. <laughs> I don't buy CDs and I don't know how long and you have you know? no CD drive and your computers in which to make more <laughs> it's true <laughs> yeah you can burn your own now. So sometimes I just turn on my phone and listen to it, but it doesn't get loud enough sometimes for me. I used to have a Bluetooth speaker in there, and I don't know where it is now. So, Again, <sighs> sorry for the interruption. So the topic yeah. that I was going to ask about that I was curious on chat and you guys was, what is the best first season of a TV show? Like lots of times TV shows, sometimes we talk about they've gone on too long. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like this was a great show as a whole where it was like, you know, these five seasons or whatever it is, good. But what's the best first season now, where you're like, it just works so well? Rick, I'll, I, I you would say for consideration, A, it has to have seasons. Okay, multiple seasons. And B, it has to have more than one season. More than one season? Yeah, hmm. I'd say so too. Like someone now, already said Arcane, which is like, I understand Arcane, but that's only, there's yeah. only one season of Arcane, there's no more of that, you know? Like if I, my the Does first thing that comes to my head. No! That's a movie. No, I mean like a, a, a season and a movie. What? 
I don't think so. Does no. it? Okay. Does the first season oh. need to be the best season? You're saying yes. <laughs> You're saying is like Firefly has a movie that continues yeah. it. Yeah, like, I would no, say no. I don't think so. okay. Does the first season what? Does the first season need to be the best season of the show? I don't think so. It's the general thing is what has the best. Like if you were like, hey, watch this. It has a great first season. It sucks you in. Yeah. It's you know whatever. Like I have one in my head, and someone the, the thing I was listening to brought this one up. I'm like, you know what? That is pretty good. Can I top that one? Which was. Heroes season one. Ah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Heroes. Heroes downfalls from like the writer strike and all yeah. kinds of stuff. But, but that, that first, first season, season had me hooked and was pretty good. Fuck yeah, Nathan. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I really like that one. I'm like, man, mm. what's another one? Because like, I love Agents of Shield. Yeah. But I don't think its first season is the strongest one. No. I think half the season the, is kind of yeah. like weak, and then it finds its footing, yeah. and then it gets better from there. You well, know? and then once you realize why, you're like, oh, okay, that's why it sucked. <laughs> sure, right? So, but I think Sherlock has a really good first season. Sherlock, yeah. Sure. Two of mine kind of cheat because, like, the episodes are so long. Yeah, Sherlock has, what, that three-episode, hour-and-a-half long Yeah, it's episode, like three movies. Right? But the first two that come to my mind is Sherlock and Columbo. Columbo? I think Columbo's first season Columbo. is really good. It might not even be the best season. But sure. Like, like, original Columbo is just so high quality. It's Gold. Production. So the radio brought up heroes. That was one that they brought up. I'm. I was and I was trying to think of other ones and stuff too. And I thought of some other stuff in the meantime because like I was going through like what are my favorite shows and stuff, you know. And uh, like one thought was uh, my one thought went to Agents of Shield, and I'm like I don't think that has the best first season. I'm yeah. like, but well, what does have the best first season? Um, one I really liked was um, Prison Break. Prison Break is a great one. A really good first season, and some of the other seasons are pretty good. And you too. could stop watching it and just be satisfied if you, you can, wanted to. Yeah. yeah. So like, I thought that was a really good one mm -hmm. too. But I was curious on where what you guys would pick as like some of your favorites. So we have Columbo, which is an interesting one because that's probably very like uh, every week is very on its own, right? Absolutely. Yeah. As Definitely. opposed to like a lot of them nowadays are more connected and interwoven for a season. Yeah. So that's an interesting choice because. You could just watch one episode. It doesn't. The first season doesn't really have probably a lot of cohesion, right? No, I mean there's you know a small amount, but yeah, it's it's very limited. Most of them, it's you know they're just kind of like mystery movies that come out in a season. But yeah, I was just uh, I watched it for the first time recently, and uh, I was just blown away by some of the stuff because like some of those early episodes are directed by Steven Spielberg. Sure. Like it's just the direction, the hmm. acting. Um, the cast in those just Steven Spielberg mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I mean, I'll just throw out the obvious ones from the channel, like Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Punisher, uh yeah. Black Sails, Game of Thrones, uh yeah. The Expanse. Now, now are you looking at these for their first season? Or first are you looking season. at them for yeah. like the show's just really good? I would go like, mo like Jessica Jones first season, definitely David Tennant's season. Yeah. That, that's so fantastic. Of what we've done, Promise Neverland. Yeah, yeah. A really strong first season. <laughs> sure. So strong. <laughs> like, when comparing them to other shows and stuff, like, what do you put above? Because like, Heroes is one where like I can say the first season is probably the best of the of the four seasons, five if you count that other thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think like it's up there as far as it's just, like the cohesion of the story, the actors, the characters and stuff. I think are done really well. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of really good stuff there, you know? True Detective had a very, very good first season. Man, I liked it a lot. I That one is so complicated for me because I've yeah. never finished it. Oh, I really? started it three times Yeah, yeah. because we were looking to do reactions for it. Sure. And every time something happened and we didn't or maybe we lost footage or whatever it was. So, like, I watched was like the year first one. two episodes or so of that, three yeah. episodes maybe, with, like, different people trying to get that to work, and I still have yet to finish it. I've got two. Uh, Broadchurch. I I haven't seen that yeah, one yet. I haven't seen that. One is incredible. Uh, and Twin Peaks. I haven't seen that one yet either. Hmm. In. Ooh, I got one. Spartacus. I think Spartacus had a fantastic first season. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the only season that you get that actor playing yeah. that character. Uh. I loved that first season. Spartacus is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the whole show is pretty good. I oh think. yeah, definitely. But yeah, no, I get but there's what you something mean, special about you, you have. Know, uh, that was you Andy, go back and rewatch right? it now. 
Andy Whitehall? Whit, Whit, uh, Whitfield. Whitfield, is that what it was? I think so. And then Andy, it was Liam McIntyre. that It was played, Liam McIntyre yeah. that took over, yeah. But, yeah. No, he did really well with that. Yep. Um, I don't get to... It doesn't count, I guess, but Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers? <laughs> Another... Yeah. I, still I haven't see seen that it. Too. That's one that has been on my list that I just haven't Does it not yet. count? What? No, because uh, The Pacific, I think, is a separate... Show it, yeah. it's not like season okay. two. Mm-hmm. Sure. So gotcha. goddamn Band of Brothers is, is real good. Band of Brothers, huh? You know what? You know what I should have done? I didn't think about this beforehand. I should have made a I need I want to use these uh the viewer rewards and stuff more for channel points. Sure. Because like in chat, like lots of people are typing what they have, but it's hard to go through and see like what people's answers end up being. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah, I get you. Like Dexter is a good one for one season. Just watching that, I think that show has a lot of personality in its first season that you sure. immediately are like, I want to watch more. Uh, someone just said Attack on Titan. I would agree. <sighs> yeah, sure. Over the first season, <laughs> that is. Aaron, I don't know if it's the best season, but I, just because it's the one I've watched the most. But I love Sykes' first season. <sighs> I mean, I love the show, but I don't know if its first season is the best. No. It's definitely not I, the best. I think it really picks up even more later on, you know? You're right, but man, I love it. No, I like it too. Um, like, yeah, so, some of my favorite shows, like Seinfeld, the first season is not the strongest. Sure. Uh, and, and that's the tricky part about this, you know, is trying to find the Yeah, I'm trying to think sure. of like a season that can stand alone by itself, right? Is that kind of the idea? Like you only get to watch one, this show one season, What's the best one of those, right? Sure, yeah. So I'm throwing out everything else that's happened after. I really think The Walking Dead's a pretty good contender. Season one of The Walking Dead, yeah. pretty fucking good. Yeah. Westworld yeah. season one was really good also. We- Westworld season one is fantastic. West Wing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's, it's it's hard for me to like truly comprehend the question and pick the best. Um, I just made a favorite season one channel point thing. It cost one channel point because I didn't want people to have to like pay a bunch for them or anything. Sure. I just want to know what people think. Yeah, um, just... Oh, man. Hang on yeah, a second. If it's standalone, I think Columbo wins. Columbo. And safe. There we go. Now it will require people to actually type something there. You think Columbo? Well, just for like what Eric was saying about something that stands alone. Because, like, I think Lost has an amazing first season considering all the characters and all of the, the stuff, but in terms of standing alone, you, you're left unsatisfied. Like, okay, but I need to know what happens next. Whereas, you know, there are other shows out there that their first season, like Dexter, I think you could finish and be satisfied with, with that first season. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, guys. In the chat, I want to see in the thing. Just put one. Don't put multiples. I want to see. I want to see what you think is your number one. Because I'm just curious yeah. on what some people have. Psychopaths is being mentioned. I have not seen. Psychopath. I haven't seen. Is that. that an anime? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm familiar with it, but I have not seen it. Um, Stranger Stranger Things. That first season of Stranger Things. I think yeah. it's stronger than some of the other ones, and I would say that season yeah. four was like one of my favorites. Either right there with or after season one, maybe, you know? Yeah, sure, I get yeah. you. But I think two and three, they're a little lesser for me. And but... I feel like you could be satisfied finishing season one for the most part. Sure. Being done with it. Um, Let's see. The Frenzy says Westworld. Uh, Ahsoka Simp <laughs> says The Blacklist, which <laughs> I have not seen. I've seen episodes of The Blacklist. Really? Uh, Like the first five or six. That's uh, Spader, right? Yeah, James Spader. Yeah, he's really good. I've seen a couple episodes of that as well. It also is always like pretty high in the trending on Netflix. Yeah. People just watch that show. Oh yeah, people binge it. Hmm. Um Iron Man says The Mandalorian. True. Which I I mean Mandalorian's pretty good. I enjoyed that one a lot. Uh what else we have? Jedi L says Friday Night Lights. I've heard good things about that, but I have not seen it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've seen the original movie, but not the show. Gotcha. Um, v- Var says The Terror. I don't know what that one is. I don't know The Terror, yeah. Anyone familiar with that one? No. The Terror? Uh, the Terror. No. Um, let me see some other ones that are different here. We have uh, Malik saying The Flash, season one. Flash season one is pretty baller. Um, 
Aulak. Aulak? I don't know how you say this name, but they said Hannibal, which I haven't seen Hannibal either. No, I not. haven't seen it, but I've heard great, great things, and there are people in our community that have held that flag high for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, sure. They've threatened to eat people if we don't <laughs> watch it. Um, and, you know, just having – the more and more I see – uh, Mad Mickelson. The more and more I'm like, maybe I should check out the thing people really love him for. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have Becky Setch saying Stargate SG1. It's really strong, is it? Yeah. Um, Jake saying uh, Stranger Things. Wheel Magic says The Owl House, which I've heard a lot about. We actually mm. had that on a poll recently too. Okay. Um, Purple Grapes Grace says Veronica Mars, which I'm not too familiar with. Uh, Jancy says Yellowstone, hmm. which is one that I've been wanting to see as well. I haven't checked that one out yet. We've yeah. heard a lot of good things from Jancy and the Baba about Yellowstone. I wonder if Yellowstone would scratch that kind of Bridgerton itch of like something different we don't no- normally do. Sure. Yeah. Like I, I, this one I think goes really well because kind of like what you were saying, like Heroes. You could probably watch season one of Heroes, and if you didn't watch any more, it, it does really well. And I think that makes sense. Yeah. And you wouldn't be like, oh, like you might want more, but you, you can start to kind of imagine and figure out what sure. happened maybe, you know, like, or when imagine I, it. When I try to think of like a complete season one, I mean, a lot of those shows do have the hook to get you to go to season two. Yeah. Heroes isn't, you know, it, it definitely does that. That's why I'm kind of like trying to settle maybe on Dexter because I feel like Dexter, when it ends, you're just kind of like, huh, that was cool. I don't know if I need need to watch more. Sure. I think I'm satisfied. Um. Well, with that, know. the one that I was looking at here is from Gooden, who said yeah. Legend of Korra. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> that like, could definitely have ended. Because the way then, those were, you didn't yeah. need to have more the way they, they were yeah. kind of self-contained. Um, Ian also said Young Justice. Okay. Which I think was so far out of what we see. We haven't seen the newest one, but I think it was our favorite of the season so far of Young Justice. Yeah. Um, were there two seasons of Death Note? No. Death Note. There was just Death Note, like part one, was, part two. Yeah, it was just it was like there wasn't seasons, but it was just one yeah. thing with two uh, openings, right? Yeah. Um, let me see if there's any other different ones. A lot of s- several Owl Houses, a lot of Jessica Joneses. I would throw that up there. It's pretty good. It's really <laughs> dark too. So dark. Yeah. Arcane. I don't play by your rules. <laughs> yeah, Arcane's fantastic. Um, the Leftovers by from Colton. I haven't seen that one. Mm-hmm. I've heard about that one being compared to Lost a lot. The Lost, really. Uh-huh. Um, and then Toon Army Sean says The Dragon Prince. Hmm. Oh, gotcha. And Darkwing says The Wire. Hmm. And then there's a lot of, Jake, you can't put another one? Primal. <laughs> Changes mine. Is there anyone that's seen Twin Peaks? Uh, I have not seen Twin I've Peaks. I've seen Twin Peaks, but it was a very long time ago. Okay. Like 2007. I, I don't remember it much. I, I watched it once with somebody, I think. Oh, Barry is pretty good. Barry season one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Barry. Yeah, but uh, when I think about Barry, I also think about all the greatness that comes after, like... Is having the best season one, is it also one of those things? Like, I keep going in my head like it's got to be the best season of the show, but that's not true. I mean, it could be, yeah. or it could not be. I don't no, know. No, I get you. You know, it just depends. Like, when I think of Barry, I think of every season. Like, you know? one of the best ways to look at it is, like, it doesn't even have to be the best season of the show, but what yeah. out of all the shows, which one has the best one that really hooks you and makes you want to see more? Like, I watched all of Heroes – because of season one yeah, and the no, attachment you're right. I had from those characters, you know? I would say probably the same thing about Prison Break. Yeah, I think Prison Break is like my top five. Prison Break has a really good first season. And, and its like, ending is like, oh, what the fuck happens next? Right? Yeah. yeah. So like those two, like that, I think those are both really good ones. Yeah. And season one is so different than the rest of the show. Yeah. Like it's almost like a different show. Yeah. It really changes afterwards. Mm-hmm. So, But it was, it was so creative, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of thought gone into it. I really like both of those shows I really like a lot. So it's interesting because if that's in consideration, I think Broad Church Broad Church drops because once I finished that season, I didn't want to watch anymore. You're done. You didn't want? No, it was so good. Everything was wrapped up so well that I, I didn't I didn't want to see season two. 
Really? Like yeah. even to be like, if it's a, I mean, I imagine it's a mystery show. Yes. You know, so like we solve the mystery. You're not curious on what the next mystery, because Sherlock Holmes is similar, right? Like uh, they're solving a mystery within the first season, but yeah. then you still want to see what new stuff he decides on doing or solving, right? Sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I've only ever seen the first season of Broadchurch. So you've never even looked into more of it or anything? No. Hmm. Hmm. I might need to, but. Interesting. Um. Star Kitty says, yeah, pick two, but if it's about hooking you for the rest of the show, they say Black Sails or Expanse. Definitely agree with that. Um, Mr. Wright said Ted Lasso. And this one only has one season. G Giru, who said Berserk 97. <laughs> but I, I mean, books. if you consider that season one of the manga, then yes. Is it, that soundtrack changed my life. <laughs> uh, also, Bendelak said Q. Hmm. Uh, huh. I don't know if I agree that season one is the best of Haikyuu. Really? Um, what about I mean, in the idea? Season, though. What about in the idea of like, it, does it pull you in? You're invested enough to want to watch more. Does oh, it yeah, work definitely. better that way? And, and I think it also would be a satisfying. I mean, not the most satisfying place to end, but like something wraps up and it's it's good. Gotcha. Because I feel like there's there's those two ways to look into it, right? There's either what is the best first season out of all the first seasons of TV shows. Or what is the best first season that really gets you to want to watch the rest? Even if you had a decline in some of the later seasons, you know? Like, I feel like that happens a lot in TV shows where, like, season two or sequel movies, you know, don't quite live up to the same as, like, the first. Sure. But, like, you get invested. You get interested. Game of Thrones, that people keep mentioning, is a good one where, like, I really liked Game of Thrones. And even though it started, like, uh, maybe the later seasons aren't as good, I still wanted to see what happened because I was so invested, you know? I was so interested. Man, I was, uh, I'm sorry for the going off topic, but I was going through like some of our videos, just trying to get an idea of different seasons, stuff that we've sure. watched on the channel. Yeah. You know, our, 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 our reaction has 775,000 views. Jeez. I, I, Almost. The I last time I, the, the last time I looked at it, I thought it was like 400. Like, it, like that thing blew yeah. up. We got to do more Indian movies. <laughs> or just watch that one again. I would so watch that again. Oh, oh did you guys see? Right, sorry, uh, I don't mean. I didn't mean to disrupt. Uh, Siraj from the Normies. Yeah, oh, I did. Did you guys? Did you guys see his? Uh, so good. Costume oh, his Halloween. yeah, his Halloween oh, costume. I I oh, that was so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was. It was. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I liked it a lot. It, it, it made me think of it. You. You know, talking about speaking stuff. of watching it twice, I know they had a group of people watch it a while ago, and then they had everybody that hadn't watched it. Also watch it. So they got two reactions to our Really? <laughs> yeah. It was it was an interesting movie. Yeah. There was a lot to that that I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I I think I the one thing that would have made it better for me is if we took like a fifteen minute break between you know because I know a lot of Indian movies like they're designed for intermission, you know. Yeah. But like by the time I got to the end of it, I know Rick, you were the same way too. It's just like you're done. You're exhausted. I can't look at anything else. Nothing else. Nothing else will compare today. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. And I think that's also when we all came down with COVID. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yep. Are you looking for it, Calvin? Yeah, I was looking for it. Um, I can't remember if it was on his Instagram or their Instagram, but uh, basically it was a... I don't see it on there. You got to allow me to brag a little bit. I only have my Facebook for my for my close friends, and uh, I got them on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it might have been on his Instagram. I, I don't have him on my Facebook because I don't have anyone on my Facebook. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks for rubbing that in, Eric. I know. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I like season one or two better, but Arrested Development had a solid first season. Mm. Oh, yeah. It does. In terms of comedy shows. Yeah. Looking at comedy, there's – what's what's the best comedy one that hooked me in? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Arrested Development might have been the one. Yeah. That's... I'm trying to think of them all. I'm thinking about The Office. I'm thinking about – I don't know. The Office of Season 1, no, I would say no. You know, Community's okay. The Office, the British version of The Office Season one's pretty fucking great, though. Maybe Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Season 1? For comedy? Mm. For, like, I mean... Maybe. I feel like we fell in love with that show pretty easily. Yeah. You know? True. Holt and everybody, like, just it just was a lot of fun, really good. Um, Yeah, Barry's a good comedy one, where, like, there's mm -hmm. serious and comedy and all that just mixed in one. It just... That one just gels really well. So, yeah, I don't know. 
But I thought it'd be an interesting little thought experiment, kind of discussing some of these ideas and what people thought would be the the best, the yeah. best first season. Oh, do you have it? The damage. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. It's oh yeah. Fine. No, that's fine. Oh fuck yeah! This influencer is influencing me by how great it looks. Yep. <laughs> Look that's awesome. great. Yeah, great. Yeah. Did, Love it. Does he have the picture of the of it afterwards too? Is that what it was? I think it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So, I thought that was really fun. So I like that one a I think lot. It's one of my favorite costumes I saw this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. But yeah, I saw that and I was like, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that one. It's really good. Yep. Ah, <sighs> all right. Uh, I saw chat too. Uh, what we do in the shadows first season is so good. Is it? Yeah. It might be. It might be my favorite season so far. I always I hear so much great things about that, and I've always, you know, every once in a while when I've gone through a show at home that like I just have it on the background. And now I gotta find something new. That's always popping up, and I'm like, maybe I'll start watching it. But you never know when you're gonna react to something. So then I gotta go back and just fucking watch old shit again. Old shit, <laughs> you know? Eric, I have a good one too. Yeah. Great British Bake Off. That's a great one. The best first season. I loved that first season. Really? And I bet yeah. you I've watched that season three times. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's just such a wholesome show. With a judge that's both a prick and wholesome. <laughs> it's like, that's the badass of bacon right there, you know? <laughs> the badass of bacon? Of baking, yeah. Of baking. Not oh. bacon. Baking. The, the badass of bacon. There's yeah. Kevin Bacon? Very little bacon on that show. Yeah. there There is very little. For the British bake. What? Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm thinking of like other more obscure kind of things, like I don't know if it was because of the first season or what, but I did really get sucked into NCIS for a while. Mm -hmm. I kind of fell off later on into it, but I probably watched it because of the first season and the way they set things up with did stuff. Did you say NCIS was obscure? Well, like it's not like I don't feel like it's the most popular thing I hear about all the time. <laughs> it's not like we've reacted to it. I'm just thinking of like more obscure stuff in my library of watching stuff. I mean, yeah. have you have you watched it? Oh yeah, I've seen it. Like, like it was on top of the world. I mean, it's like I mean, it's got like twenty seasons or something like that, yeah. you know. But I mean, like, Let's did you did you like watch it, or you just like saw it on TV sometimes at home with your parents? No, I think I watched. Uh, I watched like the first. I don't know, four seasons maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, no, I was super invested in NCIS. I fell out of it later on, but it was one of those things I started watching because I'm like, well, we won't react to this stuff, you know? Yeah. So no, I watched that. I watched Jag. My parents watched JAG. I never watched JAG. But there was a connection to NCIS with JAG. Like yeah. that, There was a correlation there. Yeah. They first showed up in JAG, I think. Huh. So. Yeah, I, I watch uh, Criminal Minds. Like That's probably my NCIS for you. Yeah. I've been watching The Mentalist now. Mentalist? Yeah. I took a break during October. Gotcha. But, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's more obscure. I mean, that's obscure for me, I suppose, because it's not in my typical genres of shows. Like, I don't usually watch, like, Law & Order or any of those kind of things. You know it would be a fun reaction series to do? We need to find what's the, you know, and obviously Firefly we've already done, but sure. what's the best show that had the best first season that was canceled? Hmm. You know? Just so that we can be, like, sure. not, you know, we get to the end of it and be upset that it's, we won't get any more, you know? Uh, Swamp Thing. Well, yeah, Swamp. I'm, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to think of things we haven't done. Swamp Thing is definitely up there. Firefly, obviously, we've already done. I mean, just log into Netflix, I suppose, right? <laughs> yeah, just find something. <laughs> um, like, I've always heard good things about that. Uh, you ever see the Revolution, I think it was called? Uh-uh. Eric uh, Kripke, I thought, left Supernatural and did that, and it didn't work out, but people loved that first season. Um, oh, Limitless. Limitless? I heard a lot about it the back TV in show? the day. Yeah, there's a, there was a movie, and then there was a TV hmm. show, which I think huh. was based on the same concept or something like that but yeah um i never saw either one yeah but. terra nova actually was pretty fun it's you know it's it's a product of its time but the concept of in the future things were so bad that they just go colonize the past hmm. 65 million years ago so there's dinosaurs running around they're in the <laughs> jungle it's pretty yeah. cool what was that called terra nova okay yeah okay and it had uh the dude from avatar in it 
Yeah, Scott Lang. That's right. Oh, the oh, guy, that the, Avatar. The yeah. guy from uh, Don't Breathe. Yeah, and the guy and from Tombstone. Uh, Tombs- yeah, Tombstone. <laughs> yeah, Ike. Yeah, that was a that was a fun show. The dinosaurs don't look great, but it's good enough. I mean, very few dinosaurs look great. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else there is that's like. I'm looking through a lot of shows that were canceled after one season, and I don't recognize like any of these really. Mm-hmm. Limitless was like the only one I'm like, oh yeah. Gotcha. Was Briscoe Kenny Jr. canceled after one season? I don't know what that is. It's a uh So like Bruce Campbell. Yeah. So like specifically canceled, not like Berserk ninety seven, where that was all that there was going to be. Like I guess I was thinking about like it might be interesting to get really invested in a show that I know's not gonna end in a satisfying way. You know, just for, just to hurt myself. <laughs> that might be fun. Watch just, Game of Thrones again. Just to hurt myself. Hurt myself in a good way, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're right. It was only one season. Dang. Uh, Those 27 episodes feel like so much longer. So good. Well, you know, Watchmen's a good answer, I feel like, to your first question, Aaron. Watchmen? That, that season of Watchmen, just one season. But that's only one it season. It was always though. meant to that's be what it was one meant season. To be. Yeah, yeah. But I put there. Yeah, I get you. Like, like if you say that or Berserk or you know yeah. things yeah. that like, well, if they're only intended to be one season. Well, Berserk wasn't intended to be one, right? No, it, it was. It was because it was an ad for the manga. Sure. Right. Like they were like, put yeah. this out there, let people like it, enjoy it, and then go buy my book. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely <laughs> more story to tell, but there was never. There's so much more story to tell. I know. Uh, oh. yeah, but back to the original topic, I don't know if anyone else has seen it, but the first season of The Pretender. Oh, I the fuck yes, Rick. I never saw that. Uh, I don't know if it still holds up, but I remember watching that when I was younger. I mean, was... it holds up for 90s stuff. Yeah, that was a hell of a show. It is. Of like a genius dude who could be anything. I mean, that, I, would, I would say that hmm. The Pretender is also huh. like in the same realm as like MacGyver. It was like a nonviolent Dexter. Gerard... Gotcha. Jared in a way. Yeah, no, no. Jared. is a genius who can master any profession and become anyone he has to be. A pretender. Sounds like a Gary Stew. I've never heard of that before. No, that sounds interesting. Mix between Stranger Things and Dexter. Oh, that sounds fucking sold. I, I want to watch that. Yeah. The Pretender? There yeah. are pretenders among us. And How many have one, uh, seasons? One season? No, or no, no, no. It had more than one. Okay, this is, the, you the think the it was a really good yeah. first season? Yes. Yeah, season one might have been its best. Would we ever react to it? That's the question I always have to ask. When people are like, hey, check this out. And I'm like, will I ever react right? to it? Anytime there's any new show. In 2030, show. I might be like, hey, The Pretender won this poll and you watched it in 2022. Oh, you, you fucking fuck idiot. You know? Well, sometimes I'm like, can I watch? No one else is going to watch this, right? So yeah. like, if I watch this, there's still a- the other three could watch this. Sure. You sure. Know, and do we that. Just, we can't coordinate. <laughs> we can't all watch it. Yeah. We, we have to all watch different things. And then the other people have to just never watch so it. At least like. Two or three of us have not seen yeah. it. Yeah, so like right? you two have seen The Pretenders, and now Eric and I have to wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> uh, forever? Forever. Hmm. Canceled. Yeah, I don't know forever. I saw it a couple times in it, chat. It was on a list of uh, canceled seasons, but I've, I've not seen it. Should we get into some questions? We should, but I'm also making a list of shows that I... Will not watch because I'll be afraid about reacting. But I can just expand my expand my list. <laughs> expand your list. Um, all right, one second here. You ever get like, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but you ever get like you've prepared a meal and you're gonna go watch something while you eat that meal, but you can't find what you want to watch. Fuck and yeah. The meal gets and cold. The, and the meal goes cold. <laughs> and you're like, exactly. what the fuck am I doing? My ancestors would be so disappointed in what, I, what our life is like. It's never happened to me. That's happened to me. Like, their entertainment <laughs> was the food. <laughs> it's like, damn, I can't find something I want. <laughs> uh. my entertainment was. Well, guys, if you want to submit any questions, there yeah. is the send in question option um, that you can do. And I'm clearing out some of the old things so that we can get some different questions in here. Um, Rick, did you want to read those for a second while I set up something else, I too? We can. We can also look at memes. Oh, we have memes? We do have some memes. We always have memes. Who makes these memes? They're always memes. Rookie. Who are these memers? Rookie. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm ready. 
Uh, and I will also get questions up as well. I might have time between then. Now. Line wave road to one million. You'll sub too. Yep. Nice. A lot I like of these that. Uh, Halloween October gotcha. ones have been really good. And the trend continues. Yes. Praise the dark. No. Yes. Why? Yes. Jancy got us the sweet <coughs> display case for both the duck and the note. Yeah. And it will forever. The note's all like pressed out and. And I had sandwich between acrylic. I had the duck out on the reaction table today, and like whenever I needed his guidance, I'd put my hand on it. You know, <laughs> I feel like the duck needed to replace the sun on the meme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but solid idea. <laughs> Why double bubble? Because bubble? you love it so much. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Just a waste of chewing. <laughs> Ridiculous. That photo, that hand is so much bigger than that body. He's leaning forward. Yeah, but and, yeah, but it matches his face. It does. Yeah, it does. Wow. It's pretty big. Want to trade? Kind of scary. <laughs> yes, ring pops. Oh my oh, gosh, that's awesome. awesome. Oh man, I, I love that shield skit we did. <laughs> what were you holding up? I huh? don't remember. Was it a ring? Yeah, what it was, was it? a ring. This was us uh, trying to tell a deaf Gemma that he was proposing. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it, was, it, was all, it was all play acting. Yeah, that's thing. right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yes. I knew as soon as I put that on, it was oh, going to yeah. happen to me. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> what the hell? I'm T-posing. <laughs> Why are you T-posing? I don't know, because it's creepy. Because <laughs> it's creepy. It's creepy. Okay. You put that face on anything, it's creepy. Would it be better if I was Blair Witching? I don't know what would be better. Uh, well, yeah, if your head is still facing that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Door guy. I did see uh, this one. White yep. t-shirt, blue short sleeve button down shirt that he got from production. Uh, khaki pants. I did. I had a shirt. And glasses. I yeah. True. I'm surprised that you get the entire costume. Normally, I have to like accessorize. Thank God they didn't put beard on there. What? Yours was gone. I feel <laughs> like one size fits most is just... A lie. It's a lie. It's dumb. It's a cop out. <laughs> it's a cop out. Yeah. It is two kind sizes. Of a cop out. Like, give me. I would prefer measurements rather than one size fits most. Like, what's most mean? Not kids. Yeah, like. Not infants. Well, it says not adult. Me. It says adult size costume. I know. Not kid. Not kid size costume. There are, there are adults that are kid size. Then they can buy the kid size costume. <laughs> <laughs> not the adult one. Archmaster. <laughs> Jesus beard. Brown professor jacket. Yep. Not included. Mercy, sense of direction, candy lamp. <laughs> you got the brown jacket on. Not included. <laughs> oh, like that. That's good. I don't know. Yeah, this is the same jacket. Is it? I no, that's tell. a brown one, right? Yeah, Are you yeah, wearing yeah. the brown? I think yeah. that is yeah. it. I thought you were wearing the red one. No, no, no. Uh, that's a different jacket. But yeah. Is, wait, it's, is that idea. you from today? <laughs> it looks like you from today, Rick. That's amazing. War never changes. <laughs> <laughs> he cow the cow bat. Nice. The cow bat face is so funny. Oh, uh, my eyes are pointing in different directions. Every time I, know. I see that face, it makes my eyes water. <laughs> like you did, did that. they? How did you do that with your eyes? I, I did. It's onions. <laughs> it's onions. <laughs> Why is Jake back there? He's back there. <laughs> Professional reactor. He's always watching. Professional reactor. I'm covering my face. <laughs> exactly. Dude, I have to, I every once in a while I have to minimize because I have stuff on my monitors all the time. Yeah. Every once in a while I realize I have to just minimize to see if anyone has fucked with my background. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometime during October it just said spoopy. Yeah. Like, Who did this? <laughs> Fucking. <wrong. laughs> I don't understand uh, what's happening. This um, is uh, because we were waiting for so long for our characters to play. <laughs> Yeah, so they've died of old age waiting to play again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think see. it's uh... Calvin, your old man's so funny looking. I love it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So is yours. You're, I know. Yeah. You're like uh Mine look mine looks disappointed in me. <laughs> it's like my dad like, looking uh, at me. What, what is it? Like uh Yeah, John Hammond and mine is like Christopher Lee. Yeah. yeah a little bit. Oh, look at Aaron Ferry. <laughs> Subscribe. Why, why am I tinkering? Put that on a shirt. Ah. <laughs> Subscriptions keep me alive. What in the world? <laughs> yeah, <I'm not laughs> enough. What was I doing? 
Holding a tiny umbrella. Oh, man, I need to get back in the, the gym. My arm looks can... so big there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You've been slacking. I have. I haven't gotten back since we had all the, the, all the COVID. All the COVID. I did. Yeah. I get when, uh, you. I think it was Tuesday. I went home and I was doing work outside, and I just like I feel so weak compared to what I felt just a couple of months ago. Ugh. Ah, oh, this one was really good. Oh, yeah, I like that. This is good. Really I've unmasked good. Jake to find Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> it was Kyle all along. <laughs> <laughs> one million. <laughs> we did it. Why are you, when you're like, no. Why are you shielding yourself? That's from Chainsaw Man. That's from Chainsaw Man when it got so funny I had to look away. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when you have to like walk away from someone who made <laughs> yeah. a really good joke. Uh, hint hunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also that. That one's usually just me though. Mm-hmm. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, that's why yes. I'm looking away. Oh. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and it then works so the well. One of this, I think, is. One of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, not what I was expecting, oh but that's gosh. great. Uh, it's a little different. <laughs> so good. I've never directed a movie before, but I could do a better job. Could you? Did this. Yep. Could you direct and act and make it better? I wouldn't act. But you're Just the main direct. character. I'd, give me this. No, I know. I know. But give me the same cast and it'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> same cast, same budget. Yep. I can make budget. that Yamcha great. <laughs> what? What budget did? <laughs> well, par. <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution had a thirty million USD budget. Yep. Really? Thirty million. It was shot in Mexico. How many movies do you know that are shot in Mexico? <sighs> um. I mean, I don't know them. I bet you 20 uh, million of that was... El Mariachi. Fucking marketing. Desperado. I don't Man, know. that's that quick. Just... That's today. What? That's today. That's now. That's happening now. <laughs> the killer's inside the <laughs> house. This is you. It made almost 60, by the way. Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! See, yes, th that makes sense that you're covering your face. Yeah, and you guys are laughing. Uh, yeah, look at your baby face. I was a hundred pounds heavier. Why would you shave your face, Eric? I kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see what it, would, what it would look like. But don't give me that look. My beard's so <laughs> here's stuff here. Long right now, and I need to trim it or something. I I need to see what your face looks like now to yeah. compare. I'm sure. I'm sure you would look. So much different. It I'm also doing nearly... this. It doesn't help. I'm like, <laughs> sure, you're you your shoulders in front of I like your neck. this part. <laughs> yeah. I like this part. Why did you say like, <laughs> I like this part? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Cave Have you guys, so in, in our Minecraft server, yeah. there are various Easter eggs and things that have been added into the game. Yeah. So if you log into the server at the Cave of Waves, Door guy. Door guy's there? Is there at the door. Wow. Helping you open the door. Awesome. That's amazing. So, and there's some other various ones, too. Yeah. I thought that was funny. Man, check that out. Yeah. There was a Minecraft event uh, this past Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it was a community day. Which launched uh, a bunch of mini games and stuff. Yeah. Some of it's like, a lot of it's like PvP kind of stuff. Or some of just... it's PvP, some of it's PvE. We have like Spleef and Cluster Chunk and Paintball. Paintball. Um, they rebuilt like some um, some maps like Nuketown, stuff like that. Um, and there's also um, Parkour. 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 Stuff like that. And um, <laughs> also Block Hunt, which is like a prop hunt kind of prop game. Prop hunt. That's cool. A it's lot like... Of fun. It's like in Ghostbusters when we would like you would possess an item and you'd be moving around. It's like that, except you're just an item and you're hiding. Yeah, which is pretty cool, dude. I've seen like uh, build battle. Like I've seen like Mr. Beast has like a gaming channel and he just has he just employs people to make obstacle courses in Minecraft. Like that's their job. They make Minecraft obstacle courses and they just play it. Man, that looks fun. That's yeah. their job. 
Yeah. That's cool. Your job is just to make obstacle courses that we we played once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a video. Like designing escape rooms. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. All right. Well, we're through the memes now, so uh, we can jump into questions, I suppose. Questions. Rick, did you want to handle those then? Sure. The Ark Ham. This may be a hard question to answer, but what's everyone's favorite TV show character? If you can't choose, maybe your top three. <sighs> Guts and Griffith. Yeah. Just hadn't done it. TV Flint. show character. Flint's pretty good. Fire. Um, Mike from Mike Her- Amos. Mike Herman Trout? Yep. Mike Herman Trout. Um, I, I love him. He's great. And I could, I think I could watch that man do anything. Whatever it is, fixing something, <laughs> you know, shooting stuff, <laughs> whatever it is. Like it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, if I need a third, Simon from Bridgerton. <laughs> um, Reagan from Mob Psycho 100. Oh, Reagan. Oh, he's so <laughs> that's one good. of the yeah. best characters. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Like, I don't know, Mike I mentioned because he's not the main character yeah. nece- necessarily, you sure. know, but he's just, he's really good. Like, in in terms of character, like, he, he rarely, like, you can always count on what you think he's he's thinking, what he's doing. He's so well-formed. Yeah. And he was yeah. so good in Breaking Bad. And that, he can still surprise you. That they were like, you know what, let's make him a bigger part of Better yeah. Call Saul. <laughs> uh, yeah, Definitely. <laughs> Trying to pick my favorite character from Doctor Stone. From so Doctor Stone, ones. yeah. Senku's dad is the right answer. Senku's dad <laughs> is really good. <laughs> There's a lot of really good answers in chat oh, yeah. too. There's so many good characters. It's hard to pick ah, just one. Fuck it, Uncle Iroh. A lot of it really. Iroh's good. I think a lot of it depends on like what I'm I was waiting for. You what I'm really into at the time, right? Oh, yeah. Somebody already put it in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. So. Our right, next one from Alicia. How do your kids feel about your shaved face, Aaron? Um, they loved it for my costume, but I think they wanted me to grow my hair back. Yeah. But so did so did Melanie. Sure. And I was like, hey, it was today actually. I was like, Melanie, hey, how's what do you think? It's, you know, there's a little bit here on the yeah. side. Just you know, she's like, yeah, it's getting there. You can have a little more. <laughs> you know. And I was like, well, your hair could be more red. And I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, it could. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Avasarala. And then got in with a follow-up question. Aaron, have you ever scared your kids by shaving your beard? Scared them? No, I don't think so. Not that I recall. Like they don't come don't in think, like, who's this? Yeah, I don't think my, I ever shaved it. My kids are like, ah! Yeah. My dad shaved his beard one time, and my sisters, I, I wasn't around at the time, but my sisters did not like it. Mm. Like, they wouldn't let him pick him up. Sure. They, they wouldn't let him get near them or anything it was it was just a different person it was a sure. different man it was not dad anymore <laughs> <laughs> evie wasn't scared but she was very confused because the I, I shaved only half of it at first and then she was like what is going on here <laughs> <laughs> so you, like they never see you without a beard and you shave it like oh this is your your dad's twin brother yeah. this is uncle <laughs> you know that's what pong said <laughs> shave yourself and introduce as an uncle. <laughs> His uncle Rich. Yeah, oh. I like the twin brother idea, but yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good one too. Just just as an uncle in general. Sure, because most of your face still looks the same. It's just sure. some of it that looks different. Yeah, right. My dad never shared, sh- shaved his beard once. Ever? Ever. My mom met him and passed away and never once saw his face. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. There's a picture of him when he was like 13. He already kind of has a little bit of it. Since then, he never shaved. Hmm. I mean, I guess he still has time if he wants, but I don't think it's going to happen. You just hold him down. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to oh, What's different. under there today? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he'd ever forgive me. <laughs> Man, that would be a hell of a video, though. Man has not shaved his beard for 60 years. Yeah. Shaves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know like how much money would I don't you know take? what I how I would feel like I've I've never in my entire life have I I'm 35 years old he's yeah. ne- I've never seen him shaved how much money would he take to shave his beard we need to make I this bet happen. you it's shockingly little honestly <laughs> <laughs> really? 20 bucks oh I just never had a, a razor before never had an offer sure 
Man. We need to make that happen, Eric. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> uh, fake Khalid. Question to Rick. How did you get into Chainsaw Man? I just saw the hype about it and yeah. started reading the manga. It was real good. The anime has been pretty good so far as well. Garbo Man says he'll put 10000 on that. <laughs> Dude, we could do like a like a Harry's Razors ad. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that yeah. would be like the... <laughs> uh, T. Veg Vasir, have you guys seen the Blight Survival trailer? It's an upcoming four-player co-op medieval zombie survival game. Looks good. I have. It does. I have not. I haven't. The Blight? The Blight. Blight Survival. Blight colon survival. Blight yeah, it looks, survival. It looks pretty good. Huh. It, it, it's like a... It's a co-op, uh, roguelike. Roguelike. Is that like a follow-up to a Plague Tale? Is it kind of like the Robin Hood game that we played? What was that called? Remember that? Oh, uh, Hood. Hunt, uh, Hood. Uh, Outlaws. It looks yeah, a Outlaws. little closer to like Vermintide to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is it third or first person? Like Chivalry? Um, or like was... For Honor? Man, I gotta remember. Damn, think, Rick. Yeah, I think it was third person. <laughs> okay. Because Hood Outlaws or whatever it was, was the one where it's a co-op and you have like different types of medieval-ish yeah. Robin Hood characters and you were fighting. But if you had zombies instead, that could be just shooting bows and arrows. That would and be interesting. Using maces and stuff. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Check confirms third person. I'll just check that out. Um, I did see a trailer for Dead by Daylight announcing their next killer comes out later this month. And it's a knight with like a sword. And his power is that he has three different guards that he can summon. And they can like, they can break down doors, or they can like patrol areas and chase survivors and stuff. What? Yeah. So you could hook That's somebody cool. and then like place a guard there to like to watch the, the area. Hook? It doesn't stay forever. Sure. And there's some limitations. Like they, when the guards like patrolling an area, it'll put down a flag, and if they if the survivor grabs that flag, it makes them disappear. Oh. Or if they unhook a survivor, it makes them disappear because they failed their. They're not yeah they're guard yeah so like there's some situations where and they only patrol for so long you know but it still seems like a pretty neat idea so yeah but yeah it's a whole new killer coming Interesting. out Interesting. that's cool that is cool using after watching House of the Dragon as a cautionary tale what kind of fantasy animal companion would you want your kids to have besides Pokemon <sighs> fantasy huh Digimon no Agumon <laughs> <laughs> uh, be great. Uh, Niffler would be handy. They'd steal all the shit. Fancy. They'd steal other people's shit too. Animal. And what about um? Oh, dang, what's it called? Falcor. Oh, from Never Ending Story. Story. The big dragon, like. I mean, I guess they said like. I don't know. They just said besides Pokemon. I gotta go with Totoro. Totoro. Mm. Totoro. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I mean. It is a dragon, but how to train your dragon dragons are cool. Yeah, no. Just dragons are cool anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, you don't want it to fucking eat you and your friends when sure. it decides to. Falcor wouldn't do that. I don't know. It's a never-ending story, which means literally anything will happen, right? Yeah. If it never ends, that means it goes for infinity, and everything happens in infinity. What's the... Uh... And eventually time travel. <laughs> yeah. While he's gone. This is like for a pet, Rick? Is that what yeah. it was? Pet Companion. Appa. Oh, Pet Companion. Appa's really good. Okay. Oh, so like it, yeah. It's not just like another race or whatever. It's got to be like a pet in the whatever, right? A, a fantasy creature. Salem? Salem like, the cat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be really good. Or uh, a Gigi. So like, yeah. would Chewbacca work? He's not a pet. That's he's what a, I'm specifying yeah, he's a, in my question. He said a fantasy creature, so I'm specifying... Well, he's not a creature What's... because he. Yeah, he's I, a person. I think the idea is like a pet. Okay, because I want to know if I could have a pet rock. So, like, <laughs> Dingy would count. Like, have Geode. You can't have Geode. I want Geode. He's a person. He's beautiful and he's emotional. He's he's there and he moves sometimes. And I want to. He's wonder... also a you, want me, you want me to proof that he moves? Pokemon. <laughs> Except for that he's somewhere else. <laughs> it's exactly what I want to do with gnomes, Eric, where I, like, they just move and you don't yeah. see them. You're like, what the hell's going on? Ah, oh, Puck's a good one. Uh, Puck's a good one. Although, yeah. not really a pet, either, necessarily. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Facts from Lord of the Rings, the Lord of all horses. Okay. And has been my friend. This one, how about this one? Yeah. Stuart Little. 
Where does that a fit? Person. Is it a person yeah. or is it a yeah. pet mouse? No. no. It, it, if you know the original so. story, it was never mentioned that he was a mouse. What are you talking about? I don't was, know. The original story a, for me is a, a mouse. movie where he's a mouse voiced sure, by Michael with, J. Fox. With Hugh Laurie. I get it. But in the original Hugh story. Hugh Laurie was in that? Yeah. He's I don't remember the dad. that. Damn. No, I just remember a little mouse driving yeah. a car from a cat. <laughs> he was also in 101 Dalmatians. Who? Yeah, Stuart Little? Hugh Laurie. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Stuart <laughs> Little was in that? Get off Stuart Little. <laughs> get off his dick. <laughs> um. Yeah, I had someone else too, and I don't remember what it was. but mm. Fucking Herbie, the car. All right. I, I just want to know what the line is of like. Do you have to put like, gas in Herbie? I don't know. That would be handy. Maybe he feeds himself. Oh, God. I just want to know what the line of like, I, I guess like where it's like a pet to a to not a pet. Well, like, I think. Dragon is kind of the line from House of the Dragon, right? Like, they're smart, but they're not sentient. Okay, so, like, the cat from Sabrina wouldn't count. That's true. Right? Yeah. So that's, like, that's why I'm trying to make sure I specify how this is working. Like, Bumblebee is a car, but also a, an alien. So it still needs to be an, an animal in a way, right? I think so. Yeah. Like, so, like, is Totoro still an animal? We're getting too deep. I'm just, that's, that's what I want to know. I want to clarify some of this stuff. divine creature. So, like, in Pokemon terms, I can have a Bulbasaur, but I can't have a Mewtwo? Like, is that how this goes? Yes. I would yes? say yes. I'm going okay. to start crying, but yes. Um, <laughs> Rick, what about Ein? Oh. I don't know. Ein is a little mysterious as to exactly yeah. where he falls in that spectrum. But yes, I, I would know. love to have Ein. I always pick Obi. I love Obi. Go okay. Master, what other shows, in reference to Better Call Saul, I imagine, would you like to see a prequel of? Hmm. Hmm. I know I'd like a sequel. To but... See a prequel of Ruby. Of Ruby? Yeah. Like yeah. what happened that beforehand be cool. and yeah, the like yeah. previous hunters and stuff? Yeah. That hmm. Would be interesting. Um, hmm. Damn, no, that's a sequel. <laughs> Damn. Endor. <laughs> And or because it already is a prequel of a prequel. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep the train going. Yeah. Uh, Kill Bill. That's a good one. Never seen it. I love Kill Bill. You've never seen Kill Bill? No, I've never seen it. I know two things in the movie, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I've seen, like, a really big fight scene once. Sure. But I don't know if that's from one or two. Um Okay. But she was just like in a big room with a bunch of guys. She she run all jumping all cutting, okay. doing that shit. Um, oh no, wait, I think there's three things I know about the movie. There's that. There is a like a this punch thing. I think that she did to get out of something. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was um, I think it was Lucy Liu did like a across the table. Mm -hmm. And then, like I think that's, it. that's all I know. Hmm. Man, okay. There's a lot more. There, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a, a good more. bit more. <laughs> There's some time to fill there. I'm trying to figure out how to describe all those things without saying exactly what happens or anything. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> I think everyone understood what um, I meant. Um, damn, what's a good prequel? I keep going through things, and I was like, oh, Black Sails. Like, no, I want a sequel of Black Sails. I yeah. Just, I mean, I just want to watch a like prequel of Dr. Stone to see them have high school shenanigans. High school shenanigans, mm. like before? Okay. Mm. Can I do a prequel of a video game? Uh, I think it was for a TV show. It's TV show specifically. It was for a TV show. Mm. Mm, what about? No, nope. nah. I don't have anything. I have nothing in this moment that's a good prequel. I think. I mean, Aegon the Conqueror from would be fun, you like know. Further, but further back. Further back, but. I don't well, because like recently we had we, know the House, we had House of the Dragon. That's a prequel. Yeah. Yeah. We have Better Call Saul. That's a prequel. Like there's a few things where it's worked really well, I feel like, but my I don't... hero could be a good one. Yeah, maybe. Like yeah, one of those like heroes that are you know adults now, mm -hmm. like the vigilantes manga or something. Sure. Yeah. I wonder if there's any interesting things in the expanse that could be talked about beforehand and seeing how things get set up and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess you. Hmm. I don't know. But all right, Becky. Uh, have any of you watched Bones? Yes. I have not. I have not. I've seen a fair bit of Bones. It's great. A fair bit of It was fun. Uh, and the science is pretty good on it, too. Because 
it's based on a book that a um the oh shoot can't remember what her like job is but you know, she's actually the person who looks at bones and figures out like who they are and what they did and stuff like that the character or the show is based on a book that she wrote hmm. about herself basically <laughs> interesting forensic anthropologist yeah thank you colton mg out of the shows on the schedule that are ending soon which are you the most saddened by better call Saul. better call Saul. because <sighs> bring bad so, so good. good better call Saul has been so good and it has been something I've watched every week for I don't know how long, and now it's ending. Is it? What was the exact wording of the question? That is going to end. That are ending soon. Ending Things, soon. Like yeah. out of what we're watching. Yeah, because like Doctor Stone's ended for us already. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be Better Call Saul. I might agree. That's also just the next thing that's ending, right? Uh, I mean, that's it's not Naruto. Soon. Well, like you guys have lost inning soon, right? Yeah. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about that. I uh, don't even. Uh, I'm still in denial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think like it doesn't feel like it's ending. Like the Walking Dead is ending soon as well. It is sure. Yeah. And the uh, the last one we watched was so good. Yeah. That's I need to get season. caught up. I started watching some more, and I'm just I'm like season five. I think is where I'm at. And you guys are like, what, 12? 11. 11? Mm-hmm. Oh, for Walking Dead? For Walking yeah. Dead. I thought, I was like, Lost is 12? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You're only halfway done, Rick. <laughs> um, yeah. I'd say Better Call Saul is probably my number one. I think it's because, I think Better Call Saul because I'm like actively mourning it already. Yeah. yeah. Like Lost, I don't consider because I've mourned and lost it and then sure. found it and, you know, but you've, Better you've Call Saul, I'm just like, right? I can see the end coming, and I also know where some things happen, so it's just it's this incredibly shrinking point in time that I'll no longer have, you know? Because for other shows, Lost could one day come back, and they'll do another one, sure. but Better Call Saul ends. You still know? have a bit, but not having Holt in my life uh, is yeah. be a problem. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. That's definitely a highlight of the week. We often will watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine at the end of the day, and I'll just kind of just be like, ah, work's almost over. <laughs> we get to watch some Holt. <laughs> that is Jay Spider asks, what's the weirdest habit you've seen from the other three? Hmm. Weirdest habit? Yeah. So like, I leave cabinet doors open all the time. Yes, he sure. does. I can tell when you've been in the kitchen. <laughs> just as an example. Yeah. <laughs> like, I understand it from a game logic of, like, I need to look in this house and open all this stuff, so I better leave it open so I know I already looked in it, and I don't come back and be like, oh, shit, I should have looked there. But from a living <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, example of it, I imagine you're doing it to find the thing you mm-hmm. want, but then once you're done, I imagine you would just close it all up, but you never do. We finally just took the step and took all the cabinet doors out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> At home. At yeah. home, yeah. What, what I need, Rick, is I need, like, all of... <laughs> I need all of our cupboards to have like a motor on them. Yeah. That I can just flip a switch after I come in and be like, Rick was here, and I can flip it and all of them go, and they all close. Yeah. It'd be great. And then you can come in and flip it and open them all up to look for the thing you're after. <laughs> um, man. I can't really think of one. There is one that Aaron has that I actually kind of enjoy Uh-oh. after a bit, but he will, like, if he says something, about like something in an intro, something that he will see every week. He'll say it the next week, <laughs> and then he'll say it the next week, and then he realizes he said it too much, so he'll just keep saying it, like to to get you, you know. It's like, oh no, I've said this too much, but now I can't stop. <laughs> he makes the fact, but that it doesn't bother me. It makes me laugh much. like after the seventh time. <laughs> yeah, I. It's one of those things where it's like it's funny, and then it's not, and yeah. then it's funny again. Yeah, right. Just, even something dumb, or he'll just be like, oh, I really like that part. And the next time he'll be like, oh, I really hate that part. And then it'll look like, oh, no, I've already said that. And then the third time he'll like, look at us like, I like this part. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Delan. Mm. Yeah. And I've done that. What's been weird before is I've been wa- I've watched a reaction before. Yeah. And I've like something happened, and I will say something. And then me on the video <laughs> will say I- the same thing I just said. <laughs> and that's why I had to stop watching mailbags with, with like the group. Like I would just, it would just be I me saying that. what I'm about to say, yeah. and everyone would laugh. 
at me for saying what I already yeah. said. And I was like, no, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> uh, Calvin keeping his sneezes on the inside. Yep. Calvin's. I, I've started to counteract it by going <laughs> every time he does it. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, Calvin's hiccups. I'm trying to think of what's a habit. I don't know that that's a habit. Uh, well, maybe. I mean, if he gets hiccups, that's his habit. I mean, sure. me saying you know, and once you actually start listening for me saying the words you know, you, yeah. when you, you hear me when say you told it me every sentence. To start editing out all the ums and you knows, it was like 80% you. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I was like, dang, Eric, you're yep. just giving me more work. There's lots of times that people have a some kind of word or statement a that stuttering is word, the, yeah. it's the thought process word, mm -hmm. right? So you're saying things like you know or like or uh or I think I've gotten kind of better, thing. but yeah. it's still there. Kind of. Do I say kind of thing? I don't say kind of thing, do I? You sometimes say something like that, but I can never remember what it is you I say. notice it, and I think I alternate between which words I use, yeah. so I'm never just always using the same one. Yeah. I'll use you know, I'll use right, I'll use like, but I'm changing it enough that it doesn't seem like a habit. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Eric's other fa phrase is, I get you. Ha! I do say that a lot. I know the phrase or the habit you do is the figure it, figure it out. Figure it out. I don't know if it's necessarily a habit, but they'll just be like a discussion of something, yeah. and all it really means is Eric's like, I don't want to deal with this right now. I know. <laughs> See, well, to me, to me, I, I'm saying I have faith that we're going to take care of this, but I can't do anything about it right now. But when you hear it, I think you're like, ah, I'm the... I'll, I'll procrastinate. <laughs> take care of it later. Well, I, I, yeah, I hear like... It's, it's not important enough right now that we're not yeah. going to deal with it. I'm like, no, I want to know now. we got to figure No, I get you. Malik <laughs> says, you say, I can see that a lot. I can see that. I can see that? Oh, yeah, I you say that. that sometimes. I definitely say, I get you. I, I get you. I get you. I get you. From the autism, I have a lot of rep repeated phrases and words. Mm -hmm. Like, I just say, tasty. Tasty. All, all tasty. the time. Yeah. <laughs> tasty. So I said, Aaron says, yeah, sure, no, I get you. Yeah, no, sure, I get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do say that a lot. You do, yeah. That's yeah, so that's Midwest. <laughs> yeah, sure, no, I get you. <laughs> that's so natural coming out of you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's so natural that we don't even recognize it. Yeah, sure. No. Yeah, like, those sure, seem Those no, seem to you. be three, like, options to reply to something, and yeah. you do all three. Do you want pizza for dinner? Yeah, sure, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes sounds like... Confirmation, yes. Sure is like, I guess. And no is a denial. You got all three on there. All three. You've covered all your bases. You are never wrong. <laughs> I've solved it. <laughs> yes, I figured it out. You're no. <sighs> Let's celebrate by going over bits and donations. Bits and donations <gasps> and Dr. Wong. Dr. Wong. Dr. Wong. Do we celebrate this now or celebrate that later? <laughs> we'll celebrate it twice. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Wong. Like that candy bar. And congrats to everybody for the gifted sub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Odeth, for the 10th 10 month subscription. Thank you. Casual Doom with 31 months. Thank Doom. you so much. Thank you. Decaws, 11 months. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mir K, two months. Thank, Thank two you, Mir. Months. Taylor's right, three months. <gasps> Thank Taylor. you, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. Leewick, gifted two subs. Thank you, Thank you Lee Lee Wick. Wick. And Malik, gifted five. Thank you. Malik. Thank you, Malik. Very generous. Thank you. Cass, subscribe for eight months, saying, been a great active eight months with you guys. Thanks so much. Well, thank Thanks. you. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Sand of Pearl, subscribed for the first time. Welcome. To your doom. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> the Rulemaking Rat, subscribe for 22 months. Thank you. The Rulemaking Rat. Okay. AMJ04 for three months. Thank you, AMJ. Thank you. And finally, Dr. Wong, gifted 10 subs. Thank you so much. Make sure if you were gifted a sub in chat to thank the person who gifted it to you. It was very generous of them. Um, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, Eric and I will be back with uh, Gotham Knights. We're going to be co-oping through that. Um, and then Eric will be back on Saturday with Breath of the Wild uh, mm -hmm. Champion's Ballad. Champion's Ballad, part so, two and, of uh, two. Modern Warfare 2, I should be finishing that on Monday. Uh, chess with Rick. So if you want to play chess with Rick or just hang out and chat while he wins or loses, make sure you guys do that. Um, and then God of War. Um, 
And then next podcast, are we going to do that thing? Oh. oh. Shoot. Sure. Okay. How long will it take us? You think we can do it in one? I think we can do it in one. You think? I, I think so. Doubt. How many are there? Doubt. There's like over 30, isn't there? Doubt. There's quite a few, but I think we can do it. It's okay. just that category. Let's of, just, yeah. Of tier listing stuff. You going to tell people what it is? We're going to tier list. MCU. The MCU. Wakanda Forever is coming in out. One sh- in one two-hour stream. In one stream. I think we can get that done. We'll skip what we favorite things of the week. We won't talk about God of, God of War because you know about that on Saturday. I wanted to tier list your expectation of time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we can get through that in two hours or okay. roughly. I think we can do that. We did two over 200 shows in like three weeks. I think we can do that, right? Yeah. We'll I think it's see. Like 30. And that's TV shows. We can we talk we'll about those. We've already talked about the TV. We could skip the TV shows, I guess. Yeah. If we have more time, we can toss those in later. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. We'll just but, do the movies. But we'll focus on the MCU movies. Sure. Yeah. Especially okay. with Wakanda Forever coming out next week. So, not a fool's errand. We will do it. We'll be fine. <laughs> Everyone will be thinking about what they <laughs> want to put things at beforehand. We have time for this one. We're no good. one think it's, thinks it's going to happen. We're yeah. good. All right. Come to twist.tv slash blind wave next Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, and see if it was a fool's errand. Yeah. Come sharp because we got to start quick. We have no time to waste. Fool's errand. Don't do that. (laughs) Goodbye.